So, you're sitting at the kitchen table wearing plaid pajama pants and your favorite tank top shirt while thinking about the next workout video you want to upload to MyTube and reading the news on an antiquated one-year-old laptop that runs too slow as you stuff your face with oatmeal because someone, somewhere, in some article wrote that it was good for your health. When suddenly you get the idea to create a motivating fitness group with a 70s retro theme on the social media platform MyLifeIsBetterThanYours.com which leads you to the search for a crazy fro wig online so you can make the most awesome profile pic ever to really showcase how fantastic your new fitness group is going to be going to be. You start searching with a popular site whose name starts with the letter G and ends with the letter E and after three seemingly endless long laborious minutes begin to give up until you finally spot what looks like the exact cool looking fro wig you've been seeking for what feels like a lifetime and when you click the link you see it in all its glory on the screen right in front of you and when you engage the muscles in your arm to move the mouse cursor over the glorious photo in order to zoom in, this happens. Warning, your system is infected and data loss may occur. Hi, welcome to Vast Micro. My name is Sean Hill. I'm an IT consultant and I've been doing it for about three decades now. I wanted to make this video to help you recognize one of the many scams that plague our digital world. I'm talking about a common scam that uses a fake virus or threat warning that you or someone you know might see pop up in front of whatever they're looking at on the web. It could be a small box within the browser or a large window covering the entire screen displaying a serious looking warning message meant to convince you that your computer is infected with something and all your personal files and data are in mortal danger. This type of fake warning message can pop up if you happen to click a link that directs your web browser to a site set up by folks trying to scam people. It could be a link from a search engine result. It could be a link on a page you're reading an article on. It could be an advertisement link that is on any number of sites that display ads. It can even happen if you visit a legitimate site that's been hacked. Unfortunately, our planet's filled with people looking to take advantage of others and not everyone sees you as a person with a life that matters or someone of value. To them, you're nothing but an opportunity. You're nothing but a means to step up in their own little world. That's how they see you. And this leads us to issues in the physical world as well as the digital realm that we access daily. I'm hoping by the end of this video that you'll have an understanding of yet one more scam that you can avoid and laugh at rather than become a victim of it. So let's start by describing this type of scam. The simplified version is this. Some fraudulent company somewhere who employs a lot of individuals that have absolutely no ethics creates one of these warning messages and uploads it to a site. Then some poor unsuspecting person like yourself clicks a link somewhere on the web that directs your web browser to that site, which then displays the warning message to you. For them, the hope is that you'll see this message, panic, and call the number for help. You'll end up reaching one of the unethical employees at the fraudulent company who will then try to convince you into paying for some bogus services to fix the imaginary problem or to buy some bogus software that's going to make everything better. And the scam may not even stop there. They may ask you to allow them to remotely control your computer in order to assess the issue, but this gives them the ability to change settings, install malware, use other scare tactics, and potentially lock you out of your own computer in an effort to hit you up multiple times for money, claiming you have more and more issues. And this could go on and on and on. This, of course, leads to the question, how in the heck do I avoid this type of scam? Well, it's simple. Stop using the internet. Actually, the answer is not so simple. I usually tell my clients to stick to legitimate websites and to never ever click advertisement links. Not even if you really, 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 really want to see what your favorite actor or actress looks like after their plastic surgery. Okay, so what do you do if you get one of these fake warning messages that pops up in your browser while you're minding your own business browsing the internet? Well, you can start by trying to close the entire browser. Don't mess with the little box, the little message window. Don't click anything within that. Just close the entire browser, all the tabs, everything. If you're unable to move the mouse around and click the section that closes the browser or get to the menu and exit the browser, you may have to force quit it on Macs or end the task on PCs. So on the PC, you hit Control-Alt-Delete, choose Task Manager, Look for whatever browser you're running and then click end the task. On the Mac, you may have to hit command option escape and do the force quit option. You just want to close the browser altogether. 
If you're unable to access any kind of functions with the keyboard or use the mouse to get around, you might have to do the unheard of thing of just shutting off the computer. I've had this happen many times where I've been forced to simply hold the power button till the thing shuts off and then just turn it back on. And when the system boots back up, never visit that site that you were on ever again. So what's the moral to this story? Well, we gotta use our wit. We gotta become savvy. This is the world that we live in now. We, we access tech all the time. It's part of our daily lives. So you have to become familiar with the tools that you use on a daily basis. Know what your antivirus software looks like on your computer. Explore your own computer. Get familiar with what the settings look like. You don't want somebody showing you something that you're unfamiliar with on your own computer and then claiming that it could be potential malware, potential viruses or threats. You want to know what the tool that you use on a daily basis looks like and what it does. We use our wit and our life experience to navigate the physical world, to stay safe, to avoid unsafe scenarios and unsafe areas. Do the same thing in the digital realm. And until the next video, don't fall for any bogus BS and stay safe.